YouTube what is good it's your boy professor rich and welcome back to the club channel like always in the beginning of all my videos i just want to tell you guys thank you man i get a lot of love on a daily basis i get a lot of support from the club and starting this channel has not been easy but i'm liking the rate that it's grown and i'm liking how uh how much of an impact i'm able to have on you guys you know what i mean but i'm not going to get too wrapped up on the intro this is just going to be a quick video because I, I get a lot of DMs asking me how to approach a woman or how to compliment a woman without validating her. I mean, and that's a great, a great topic, but I, I covered this already in my um, How to Cold Approach a Woman video, I believe, in one section of it. But it's just like, you guys have to separate yourself from every other dude that talks to her. Because I want to tell you guys something, man. If a woman is attractive, she gets told the basic compliments on a daily basis at least five times a day. Whether it be in real life, virtually, or both. You know what I mean? You telling an attractive woman, dang, girl, you're so beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're stunning. All that, that stuff, man, that is that is Reggie. You know what I mean? That is trash. You can throw that over there, bro, because she gets that all the time. I'm 6'8". A lot of you guys don't know this. I'm 6'8", and no, I do not play basketball. You know what I mean? But you telling an attractive woman that she is beautiful is the same thing as someone coming up to me and telling me I'm tall. Every single day I get that. I get, are you tall? Or how tall are you? Or wow, you're so tall? Or do you play basketball? You know what I mean? So how much time do you think a day does she get that she is beautiful, or she's pretty, or whatever you guys simp and say, the hard eye emojis and all that stuff, the kissy face emojis, man. You just another dude. And you guys see me. I interview women. I mean, I need you guys to be more in tune with the smaller details that will set you apart. Think of something rare, something different that she's never gotten before, man. I tell you guys this all the time. You have to be more in tune with the details in life. Not just for women, but for life, man. But I'm going to keep it on the woman aspect for now because that's what a lot of you guys want to hear, bro. When you see a woman, dog, and the no fap and, like, stop watching porn will help you, man. Because you just see her and you go straight for here and behind, you know what I mean? Or her lips or something. And you start fantasizing, bro. When I see women now, I, I analyze them, dog. From the top to down, you know what I mean? To the bottom to up. I look at their nail colors. I see, I check their roots out. I see if they, if they look like they just got their, their hair done. I see the, 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 I look to see at her nails to see if she gets got her nails done. To see if she, if she has like the joints, if like there's white showing or not, man. Like be, like be very cautious, like very observant, man. I see the colors. I see what color she's wearing. I see what lipstick she's wearing. I see if she's color coordinating. You know what I mean? And then you can find tons of things to compliment her on, man. And it might just be in passion, just the network, bro. I get people compliments every single day. If you're a boy, a man, whatever you, uh, I mean, a girl, a boy, whatever you identify as, I compliment your dog, bro, just to spread positive energy. But if you... If you give her a unique compliment, that can roll off a conversation. You can you can go from there. You know what I mean, if that's the route you want to take, you can go from there. And also, see like little unique things she has about her. If she has tattoos, I have tattoos, bro. I'm tatted. I'm tatted up. You know what I mean? So if I see a girl, I'll be like, oh, yo, I like your tattoo. Where'd you get that tattoo from? That's an easy one. Boom. Then you can go from there. You have tattoos, she might ask you about hers, man. Look for freckles, look for moles, look for gaps in the teeth, man. Find beauty in something that she may uh, be insecure about. You know what I mean? Those set you apart. And some dudes are going with the uh, compliment and pull back method. If you want, if you want to be like a d bag, you know what I mean, you want to be like the jock or whatever, man. 
give her a backhanded compliment that might be an insult, but a compliment at the same time. I mean, maybe you might want to, like, strike a reaction out of her, then you can, like, if you really charming, dog, you can insult her, turn into a compliment, and then charm her to make her like you, dog. That's like if you, like, deep in the game, you know what I mean, and you, like, you're aware and you have good charisma, you know how to talk to people, you, you might want to go that route. But I just, I, I talk to you guys in the DMs, you like, bro, like, how, how do I approach a girl? You know what I mean? Like, and I, I ask you guys what you do. You say, you walk up and say, hi, my name is so-and-so, bro, and then walk away. Like, dog, come on, man. And also, don't think too deep into this video, man, because at the end of the day, you have to think, what works for you might work for you. And I, if you going doing good with woman right now, man, don't change your formula. You might have to improve it, tweak it, refine it a little bit to perfect it or add your own personal like seasoning on there, man. Spice it up a little bit. But I'm talking for the dudes that are doing the same thing and it's not working. Change that up, fam. Because if it if it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's broken, bro, you better put some WD forty on there, grease them tires, man, and re recook up your formula, bro. Recook up your your recipe, man. And also, bro, like what works for me might not work for you, man. It it just might not. So don't take what I'm saying verbatim and just repeat exactly what Professor Rich says, man. You have to, like, add your own little twist into it, bro. Like, apply it to you. I mean, and another thing is, man, I feel like I shouldn't even have to say this, dog. Switch up your game for different types of women, man. I I like to make the, the comparison, like, hunting, but I'm not trying to, like, call women a piece of meat. I know things can be, like, misinterpreted and warped, bro, but, like, if you're going to go fishing, you use a fishing pole. You don't use a pistol or a rifle. If you want to go hunting for a deer, you use a rifle. If you want to get ducks, you use a shotgun. I mean, for wider trajectory or whatever. I mean, the same thing goes for women, man. Like, learn how to read the room, bro. She might be a, a more reserved woman. You're going to have to come at her differently than the woman who's an extrovert and likes to twerk in the middle of the parties, bro. There's two different type of women. A lot of you guys are just using the same technique, same technique for everybody, bro. You can't be talking to every single girl the same, man. Women talk, especially if you slide in the DMs. Don't be one of those dudes that slides in one girl's DMs, copy, paste into 10 girls, and you like this Russian roulette, testing your chances to see who bites, man. Because I talk to women. They say most dudes talk to every woman the same, bro. Differentiate yourself, man, and think of something like come at a girl creatively, Bro, like switch it up. I'm not telling you to reinvent the wheel, but some of you guys just don't know. Some of you guys just don't know. And when it comes to like being mindful of like the details of a woman, I grew up with a woman, bro. So that kind of gave me an advantage. I automatically look to see if a woman got highlights. I can peep out, you know what I mean, if she got her hair, hair done and stuff. I know the names of colors, lilac, maroon, and, like, violet, and periwinkle, and all that stuff, man. I just do. If you don't learn, bro, because, like, most, most dudes out there are just carbon copies of each other, man. And you want to be the dude to strike her interest. You want to be the dude to notice something about her that no man has ever noticed, or the typical guy doesn't notice. Or her boyfriend might not know this, dog. And that's where a lot of you guys go wrong. You, you get your girl snatched up because women, like you guys have to think, women take a lot longer to get ready for us than us, bro. You know what I mean? So compliment, like, bro, compliment the way her dress, like, curves her body or something, man. Realize the new shoes, man. You have to run game on her and make her feel a certain type of way. In the moment, dog. I'm not telling you to put her on a pedestal and compliment her every single day, every single day, every single day. But, like, dog, at least, like, run a, a little bit of game, dog. A little bit of game. The moment you get comfortable is the moment 
your girl can leave you. She loses interest. I mean, anything can happen, dog. And that goes for life. Don't just get comfortable. Woman, never get comfortable. Woman, never get comfortable in life, man. The moment you you get to a point where you think you cool and you start, you know what I mean? Oh, maybe I'll skip a gym day. Maybe I won't go extra hard at work today. Maybe I won't go extra hard on my purpose, dog. Another person will come up and snatch that right from you, man. You happen so quickly, you won't know what to happen, man. Never get comfortable because that's when they come for you, bro. That's been something that's happened to me multiple times. I had to learn the hard way. So I want you fellas to do me a favor if you're watching this or if you're a woman. Take this game that I give you, man, and don't just apply it to a woman. Apply it to your life, bro, because it's deeper It's deeper than the woman. Yes, I love women. I'm a man. Of course I love women, especially beautiful women. They soft, they clean, they smell good. The hair curly, it might be straight, white, black, blue, purple, planet, name it, bro, aliens. I love all women. You know what I mean, but it's deeper. Life is deeper than just woman. And I'm going to end on this note. Dig a grave for the beta and dig a grave for her guts, man. Like, I need everyone to be on their purpose, dog. Every video I'm about to say, have you increased... By at least 1% today, that is the club way, dog. Because it is, man. This is deeper. Like, the club isn't about woman. I mean, it isn't about, like, it's about becoming the best version of yourself and living a certain type of lifestyle, having a certain type of a red pill mentality and bossing up and taking control of your future. I mean, but like always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. If the coronavirus can spread across the world, so can the club, man. Let's get it. Let's get that. Let's get the 2K. Let's get the 10K. I mean, bring a friend, dog. Don't be stingy with the knowledge. If I've helped you out, I can help your friend out as well. And a lot of you guys tell me my friend's simping, man. Give him a link to my channel. Don't gotta be my channel. It could be any Red Pill channel. I prefer you bring him to the club, bring him into the fold. But, I mean, share the knowledge, dog. Because if I was able to help you, I can help someone else. You gotta pay it forward. Or at least, like, share the knowledge that I gave you. Something, man. Do something. But thanks for watching. Website coming soon. Hold up. Almost forgot. You see? BDE Joggers coming soon. <laughs> I mean, I don't know when I'm going to drop this, but I made it before the, the website launch and the clothing brand launch. But be easy, y'all. Peace.